Dr. Jason Lowe with Nebi Health, and today I'm going to show you uh, the evaluation and adjustment of a specific joint in the body called the SI joint. Uh, SI stands for sacroiliac. Uh, a lot of patients will have pain in their lower back, as they say, or pain in their hip, as they say, and a lot of times the pain is directly related to this joint called your sacroiliac joint. This joint specifically is right here, and what it has to do with is this is your ilium or part of your pelvic bone, and this is your sacrum uh, or part of your the so-called tailbone, so to speak. The joint is between these two. So what happens a lot of times is when this joint gets restricted, it doesn't move normal. As you can see, when I make that joint move, it moves normal. So as you go to lift your leg or to move or to whatever it may be, if you've got scar tissue within that joint that inhibits it from moving, it's not gonna move normal and lead to a lot of different conditions. Uh, pain being one, it can also lead to more back stress, distress. It can also mimic symptoms like sciatic type pain sometimes and have some referral pain down into your, your gluteus region or your rear end. Um, it can also cause musculature tightness and tension uh, to the back side of the glutes and the leg as well. So what I'm gonna do today is show you specific evaluation of that joint and determine whether it's restricted or functioning freely and then adjust the joint if I find restriction. So as I come here, what I do first is I will put my thumbs, one on that ilium and one on the sacrum. And what I'm gonna do is have uh, him here lift his leg to see which, uh, how the joint moves and how it separates. So I'm gonna put that leg back down. Now, I want you to lift your right knee for me, please. And as you can see, when he moves that leg, my two thumbs separate. I'm gonna repeat that again. Lift your right knee again and see how they separate. So when that separates, that tells me that joint is moving fairly well. I'm gonna repeat this on the other side. So go ahead and lift your left knee for me. And as he moves, or he lifts that leg, go ahead and do it one more time. You can see how both of my thumbs move down together. It separates just a little bit at the end, but not very well. Now, I'm also gonna have him go ahead and bend forward for me. And as he bends, you can see how one of my thumbs goes up and moves where the other one doesn't. Go ahead and come back up for me. And we're gonna do that one more time. Bend forward. You can see how the right thumb moves really well, but the left thumb does not. So this joint right here in his left SI joint is very restricted and locked up. So I'm gonna show you the adjustment for that and try to get that to move better. Okay, lay on your right side right here for me, please. So there are a couple of ways to adjust this joint, for, but for purposes today, I'm gonna to show you the adjustment when he's laying on his side. So what I want you to do is put both arms right there for me, please, and let your head relax. Bring your knee up toward me. Let your hip turn this way and just relax it right here. So I'm gonna contact over that joint and get it to move better by putting an impulse in there and actually freeing up scar tissue restriction that's inhibiting it from moving. Now, turn the knee down a little bit more. How are you doing here, okay? I want you to take a deep breath and let it all the way out and relax your back all the way down to that table for me. Best you can, a little bit further, right here. Just like that, very good, okay? Now, let's have you go ahead and sit back up for me. Or actually stand right over here again. Good, stand here facing that way. Now let's go back and check that joint again and see how much more mobility came back to it. So the first one I want to check on this joint here is I'm going to have him lift his left leg for me. And as he lifts that, there's a drastic difference in how far this left thumb separates from the right one. Go ahead and do that one more time. Much better, okay? Now, I want you to bend forward for me. And now as he bends forward, both of those joints glide freely. So as you look at that, over time, what will happen is, is as we go in and adjust that joint, we free some scar tissue. Sometimes it takes one to two adjustments to get that joint functioning normal, sometimes many more, depending on how locked up it is, how long it's been there and such. So anyway, at Nebi Health, we get in and assess joints like that, and that's just one example of showing you how people that have SI dysfunction can have a lot of those different conditions that I spoke of earlier.